I am I'm consistently impressed by Reddit. I'd say on on a near weekly basis by little little things. Um, whether it's I absolutely love seeing the Photoshop jobs that people do, not of silly cats, but of redditors who are like, I have this photo um, of like my mom. This is the last photo I took with her. She was in the hospital. Can any of you clean this photo up? Can you get rid of the tubes? Can you get rid of the oxygen canister? And to see in comments redditors, you know, who I'm sure are either professional or at least amateurs with professional ability, coming back within minutes with improved photoshops, improving photos, doing that sort of thing uh, for a total stranger, for a virtual stranger on the internet. That kind of online spontaneous altruism happens weekly on Reddit, and I adore that. Um, the most significant one, and the, well, the easiest one to quantify, was the fundraiser that uh, Reddit organized for direct relief, uh, not for profit, working to help uh, disaster relief in Haiti after the earthquake. And that was a scenario where the Reddit community, uh, on its own accord, was bubbling up stories about the most effective way to give money. Turns out, you know, while it's easy to text the number to the Red Cross or to Yella Haiti, uh, those may not be the most efficient organizations to give money to. Uh, whether it's because they have outstanding debt obligations they're using the money to pay off or, or what have you. Uh, I, think, I think this is something that also intrigues me from more of a future of philanthropy perspective because I think there are plenty of geeks, and this is my, whether it's my experience with this Reddit fundraiser or my experience with Red Pig, there are plenty of geeks who want to give. Uh, and, but the most important thing really comes down to accountability. And that's a great, a great opportunity for a lot of not-for-profits because the internet makes it so much easier to be accountable in a way that was just difficult just a pain in the ass 15 or 20 years ago. And so to go back to Direct Relief, we got in touch with some folks there. Their social media guy happened to not only be a Redditor, but someone I went to college with, or Steve and I both went to college with. And so we, we had some basic uh, questions. You know, Can you all provide us with photos of a lot of the medical supplies that are going in? Can you guarantee that 100% of every dollar a Redditor gives goes to medical stuff or whatever supplies that you need at the moment? And can you also do an interview, let us let Reddit organize and ask me anything interview. This is a famous Reddit thing that goes on, fascinating interviews, and have actual direct relief workers and volunteers answer the question. They said yes to all of them. We said great. So I threw up a quick blog post, chose a silly geeky number uh, based on pi, uh, 31,400 uh, to uh, fundraise as the goal. They Reddit cleared it in a couple hours. And so I figured, all right, let's double it. There was an interesting math joke in there that Chris told me about 2 pi, but we doubled it. Uh, and they broke that in another few hours. And, and the final number was actually a, a mark set by a Redditor who wanted, who, who came up with this idea. It, it was to surpass the amount of money that Redditors gave to one another in what was, I think, a Guinness World Record largest secret Santa contest. So they chose this number. They figured if we can give this much to one another in secret Santa projects, we can at least give this much to direct relief uh, because they've been so good to us in terms of you know, how they're using the money effectively and candidly. And so Reddit in total, and you can go check this out, raised over $180,000 uh, for Haiti. And to see something like that happen where obviously a lot of people are interested, but to see it actually come into action uh, and to come into play was just wonderful. And we, you know, the good folks at DIG, actually Jay and Kevin, very kindly uh, jumped on to uh, this kind of competition we wanted to create to see who could fundraise, you know, to use this silly DIG versus Reddit competition or whatever have you, rivalry. Uh, to, to actually try to fundraise as much money as possible for direct relief. So it was, it was just a great experience all in all. It was, it was an example of the Reddit community, even with all of its scale, showing its ability to actually do stuff. And in this case, to do really, really good stuff. And uh, the internet, uh, it never ceases to amaze me. And this was probably the, one of the most impressive things I've ever seen. Yes. The... Well, this is the this is the trouble with the internet. Um, I mean, this is the great thing. This is one of the great virtues, but also the, the, the sort of trouble with it is that we we realized when we created Reddit, this was this was our baby, and we like Steve and I <laughs> really loved and adored this site. But ultimately, all of the value on the site, the real reason people come to Reddit, is not has nothing to do with Steve or me. Maybe a little bit to do with Steve's algorithm, but it has to do with the community, and. What one realizes there is that we're not in control of the community in any way, shape, or form. Um, I, we, we have no power over it. And, and so we've lost this total control. Uh, the benefit of it is we get these fantastic things to happen spontaneously, these, these giant movements. And we get other things where it's just a little frustrating to see people organizing to use the power that, the power that they have, which is a fairly genuine power. It's just do silly, asinine things. Um, the... Let me think of a recent example. Uh, 
hopefully you can edit this down as I pause to think of a recent Sorry. example. <laughs> um, oh, what did Reddit do? Oh, okay. All right, so more broadly, the, there, was, um, there was an appalling, appalling video shot. I'm not even gonna guess where. I don't think it was in the US because I don't think they were speaking English, but uh, maybe you smell like it. Okay, so there was a video posted to the internet uh, of a young girl tossing puppies into a river. Uh, this made the rounds on 4chan, this made the rounds on Reddit. I'm sure this made the rounds everywhere else. It was an appalling video. Um, and, and it was just this young girl sort of callously chucking puppies into a river. Awful, awful, awful stuff. And it's very easy to get angry about that. And, and for lots of very good reasons, uh, it seems Redditors, and, and the internet in general, has a very soft spot for animals. Um, but that aside, there are, there are reasonable ways to deal with that sort of thing, and then there are unreasonable ones. And, and I, actually, our community manager, Eric, wrote a really good post about this kind of mob mentality and chastising it for, for, doing, things, for doing things in an inappropriate way, in, the, in that there are, I don't know, there are ways that the anonymous masses of the internet can do really great and interesting stuff, uh, and, and go through good channels, like the authorities, like you know, Law and Order does have a place. And, and when it comes to sort of terrorizing virtually uh, someone, as despicable as that girl was for doing that, that does not seem just. Um, and it seems that there are better ways for her to get justice than to terrorize her online or to find out uh, and reveal all kinds of personal info. So. Eric wrote a much better piece than I'm explaining right now, but I'm sure if you Google it, you'll find it. Uh, his username's Huey Priest. Uh, but it, there, is, there is, though, that reality that, you know, even me saying this into a camera now, broadcast at some point over the inner tubes, will have no impact, uh, <laughs> frankly, uh, because we don't. And I, I don't delude myself into thinking I have that kind of control or that anyone really does, because this is just the magic of the internet. Uh, it's just, in my own little opinion piece, my editorial here, it's just not cool. Um, and, uh, I mean, it's certainly awful, 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 awful to think, uh, or to let alone see someone doing that to some puppies, but that's, there are just ways to do things and that is not appropriate. Mm -hmm.